what's up guys? We're in the garage. Our friend Josh and Tyler are over. Of course, whiskey. We are working on the Ranger again. You guys saw me pull all of that stuff out. Well, you saw me pull one side out and then obviously I did the other side. But uh, today we're working on the steering rack. That's gotta get pulled out and the center section is coming out tonight. I don't know what else. That's literally after that, we're pretty much done pulling everything out of the truck. Then I just gotta worry about the axle gearing and everything like that. Um, yeah, it should be pretty simple, except for I need a tool to pull out the inner tie rods to get the rack out, which I don't have. Oh, I can't see. So we gotta figure that out. But we got three of us here, not just me, not all lonely today. We'll be able to figure it out. Double vlogging. We'll get it done. Josh is vlogging. I'll link his channel in the description below. I'll try and figure out how to do a little note card or something like that. I don't know how to do those yet. We'll figure that out. So update. He uh, finally broke those loose. It did snap at the thing. Yeah. So uh, yeah. Dude, Remember that time we worked on your E30 and it was still cold in the garage? Yeah. Doing your oil pan? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was like negative 27 degrees. <laughs> we had a space heater like the one he's got in here, which doesn't do anything. It does absolutely nothing when you don't have a heat uh, insulated garage. Hey, hey, yeah. Drop it! And drop I'm pretty it. sure I had work the next day. Yep. Um, yeah, that sucked. Oh, and it was this oh. far off the ground, so we're on the ground, not on a creeper, like balls. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> We had to drop the whole front subframe. I almost wonder if it would have been easier just to pull the engine. Probably. Yeah, probably. All right. It would be nice if I used my electric impact. Yeah, just. My bad. Hey, so do you have to cut off that whole front cross member? Yeah. Death wheel? Yeah. I had to cut this off, the other one off, this off, the control arm brackets, the shock hoop. Why does the shock hoop have to go? Basically straight down the frame. Wait, why does the shock hoop have to go? Because it's going to go in a different place. Oh, really? And it's probably going to have to go taller. Because travel. Alright, taking over for Austin. Uh, drive shaft, back half's unbolted. Torque bit snapped in the front half, so we're gonna have to pull it out with the whole front diff. Apparently, unbolting the front differential. Turns out it's only a 13 millimeter uh, head on that, and uh, 21 on the back side, but that's notched, so it doesn't turn anyways. I don't know. I just feel like we put a bigger bolt on that, but why not? How's it going? All right. Bust your knuckles yet? Once. Oh, we're doing good. We're doing good. All right. So I'm going to have Josh film because, like, my other vlogs, I'm by myself normally. And I just set the camera up on a tripod, and then I do whatever, and it just ends up being a time lapse. And you guys don't really get to see that much, except for me underneath the truck doing whatever. So I'm going to have Josh film. Jesus Christ. <laughs> but dude, oh my God. Are you getting a phone call? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, anyways. <laughs> All right. So. Uh, but in the meantime, I also have to film my vlogs. Feel free to follow me. Uh, my name should be somewhere down here Or maybe uh, if you figure out how to do annotations, it might be up here. Hoping for the best All right, she's close enough. I'm gonna loosen the other ones and we'll get a jack under there so it don't just fall. Yeah, like last time Yeah. Do we have one now? Collar neck I wish I had a collar neck Oh, because I take her collar off before she goes to bed. Because so, you know how when dogs, if you leave their collar on forever, they take it off, they got like a permanent mark? Yes. Yeah, so I take her collar off. We take it off like almost every day. Why? So she don't end up with a collar neck. Just a big, big chunk of rust. Weight reduction, yo. Yeah. You know everyone questions why you're solid axle swapping. I don't want to hear it. This rusty, holy It's truck. not that bad. Boy, there's rot right there. Where? Right there. Here? Yeah. That holds in the plastic wheel well. Those aren't going back in anyways, and it'll be all right. Yeah, rot. What about, 
Uh, how are your cab corners? So I was trying to figure out why this bolt isn't going anywhere. <laughs> it was wait, like, wait, 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 wait. Look at look at what the back of the wrench says. Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. Harbor Freight. Hey, Junk. This is my favorite ratchet now. Yeah? I always hated Harbor Freight. Then uh, I got this ratchet because I was tired of breaking my Craftsman ones and there's no more Sears that are open anymore. So I gotta go super far to go to Sears to change my tools. So I bought a Harbor Freight one and I kind of like it. Yeah. And this was what, like twelve dollars or something, and Craftsman for this is like sixty. It's ridiculous. Yeah, it's mint. Well, well, why don't you buy Snap On? Yeah. <laughs> because I'm solid accident a truck not collecting tools. Is that good pinion angle? Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> mint. I think that's uh, that's up to spec. Hang on, let me pry back here. No stop. Whoa! Okay. There she go. Alright, let her down. Never beat, always baby. She's out. Never been off-roaded. Nope. She's uh, looking pretty empty now. This is just stuck. We should probably just drop a kayak on it. Drop a kayak on it. You know, I love that most people are never going to know what that means, but... That literally made no sense at all that day. Yeah, no. My mirror... I'm was bent G, down. Was bent down. We pulled the kayak off the roof, and it fell onto my mirror and fixed it where it bent back up. Wait. <laughs> Tell me how that works. <laughs> so well, it down, we, we just had to drop a kayak on it to fix it. Just drop a kayak on it. All right, so headed to AutoZone, um, picking up an inner tie rod puller. Uh, we're not going to keep this one because... It's a solid axle swap, I don't need it. <laughs> yep. Carl, this is my vlog and I'm in the back seat. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not because... Even or anything, you're still like that, it, but whatever. <laughs> that's because we're in my car and... Well, yeah, why am I going to... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, so uh, we'll get back to you when we yeah, get we'll to... see you guys in the garage. Yeah. Alright, he just got the uh, steering rack out and uh, now the whole front end's gutted. Getting getting her cleaned up now and pretty soon uh, it'll be a lot of cutting and welding, measuring and cutting and welding and measuring. Right? Yep. Yep. Eyeball it and, uh, and hope for the best. Dumb brake lines, no mover.